All right, hello, Prince Cup Eleven, and welcome to Spirit Falls demo. This is the demo for as it, I just said, Spirit Fall. Uh, Spirit Fall is let's hop in. Spirit Fall is a roguelike platform fighter or platform roguelike, I guess. Oh my gosh! Wait, hold on. I, I know you guys can see that. I had to I had to record it uh, full screen. There we go. I mean, I guess I could do this. It worked the same, right? Yeah, I had to I had to record uh full screen because oh my god my frame rate I had to record full screen because uh it wasn't working before when I wasn't doing it full screen so now now that it's working full screen no. but anyways yeah 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 this is what I want to show you guys um before we get into the run I'm just gonna do one run on this video but I want to show you guys the combat system before we actually get in so. Uh, it's more like, I would say, it's more like, uh, Brawlhalla than it is Smash. Or maybe Multiverses, compared to Smash. Um, so you have Neutral Attack. It's like, your jab, pretty much. Uh, then you have Sides. And you cannot do a Smash Attack with this. It's, there's no, like, it's just, it's just like a tilt. It's always gonna be a tilt. You can do a combo with it, so that's why I said it's like Multiverses in a sense. Because, you know, there you go, and... For this weapon, the jab is just a one hit. Oh, yeah. That's the sweet spot, by the way. That's the sweet spot on uh, some weapons. Uh, and it, the sweet spot on this one stuns. How far is the sweet spot, actually? I don't. That is a weird sweet spot. Alright, anyways. So, yeah. Uh, you have neutral. You have side, which does a combo for this weapon. I'm not sure if it's like that for every weapon. Then you have a down. And you have an up. Uh, none of them can be charged, like I said. Then, as it says on the top left right here, you have your, your launchers, which is, these are your smash attacks, basically. Um, you can switch them as you're doing them. So you can do up, uh, forward, down. Forward is the same thing as neutral. Just, just in case you're, you're wondering. So yeah. Uh, so you got neutral, uh, up, and then down. Shit, I, I did it. Uh, and then you have your aerials, so neutral air, uh, up air, side air, and then down air. And that, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and, and, and uh, you have like your, your bolt as an ability, and your dash, and that's it. That's pretty much it. There's another ability, but we'll have to unlock it on the run. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page and, you know, not make it uh, con confusing. Like, like not just have, like, the video, just me just, like, playing the game. People were like, oh, how does this game work? You know? I could have explained as I played, but uh, I figured it'd be nice to do it in the training area so I could make sure. Because, like, it tells you what you really, like, everything you need to do. Um, I actually like the uh, Novolk. No Novolk? Novolk? The electric fucking, the electric one. I actually like it a lot because it... Didn't have it here, but there's like one where you could do like uh, if your your neutral attacks will will give you an electrified uh, effect. It's not here, so we're gonna go with the blink dash. I I don't think I've ever used the blink dash actually. It's my first time using it. Um, I'm gonna try to explain a little bit while I go in. This is a vitality crest, it gives you more max health, more uh, money, uh, and a relic is like uh, the item. It's it's an item in this run. So like uh, let me. Fuck is it? You know, what? We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll I'll show you once we get the ow. I'll show you once we we get the uh, the relic. How about that? All right. I feel like that makes way more sense to do than to you know just like go about it normal uh, right now and show you. Also, some enemies have armor. I don't know if you noticed, he had armor, and you have to break his armor before you can get uh, he affected by knockback. Um, you do 25% increased damage while at 30% health or less. Oh, we'll take it because we don't have any relics. But I don't. I mean, I'm not really the type of person that likes to get low health. I, you know, I'd prefer to not be in that range. So I'd like something that does increase damage when I'm, you know, at full. Or, or like, stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, I don't expect to be at full all the time. But I prefer being at, uh, having more damage at full health than I would at, like, low health. This dash is kind of, I don't know, I kind of like it, but at the same time, it's like, I know it's going to get me hit one time because I can't see the distance I'm traveling. Uh, all your attacks do. Yep, this is the one I wanted, actually. Right here. 
it makes all my attacks uh, electrified, and you get a buff. I forget what the electrified buff does, but it's good. Uh, the gem, uh, you can upgrade one of your spirit blessings, uh, which is like uh, any of the the uh, upgrades that you, you choose. So I can upgrade my launcher attack, or sorry, my dash, or my neutral attack, or I can just get money. I'm going to go... I'm actually very curious, but I want a better relic. So we're going to go this way. Because I can always just upgrade one at the end. I, I wanted to do... I was thinking, I was like, maybe I should go for all three. Like, I'm very curious to see how that would go. Like, like what does that feel like, you know? To have all like, like all three of them. Because, like, could I put them all into attack? I'm pretty sure I could, and I'd have, like, a busted uh, North neutral attack. But, you know, I feel like... Um, I feel like we don't really need that, to be honest, right now, at least. I, I've i never completed a run in this game. Well, I haven't, in the newest patch of the game, completed a run. I have a long time ago when it was, like, in closed alpha, I think, or closed beta, one of the two. Now it just has a demo, and that's what I'm playing. But, yeah, before it was, like, uh, it was like a short amount of time you could play the game, and it, it, it was super fun, and I, it still is fun, by the way. It's, like, pretty much the same. I don't think it, it, it doesn't feel like anything changed, in my opinion. Uh, they might have done, like, some back-end messing around, but everything in this game feels super satisfying. I don't have any complaints, really, uh, about the game. Uh, you gain, you have plus 25% max health. And I'm assuming that scales. We're gonna destroy this, by the way, because it'll give us essence, which we can use to upgrade our weapon. Or, um, actually, yeah, just upgrade our weapon. Um... Yeah, uh, at the bottom right of the screen, I don't, I never explained it, I don't think, but... Uh, there's this thing that you see, like, it's like a multiplier down there. It says 1.5. Every time you get hit, it resets with the, the current abilities I have, like the, you know, it's a roguelike, so you can upgrade your, yourself at the main, uh, hub. But, with the current one I have, it resets all the way back to zero, uh, when I get hit. Alright, here's a hidden rift, actually. I'm really glad that it showed up. It'll give you, the hidden rifts give you everything in that row. Uh, upon completion and in order to complete them you just got to kill one of these guys you know just just a simple one-on-one -on -one. ah uh, all right <laughs> I thought I was trying to be swaggy a little bit you have a certain amount of time to do it by the way but it, they're not hard it, die sir they're not hard you just got to kind of drag them to the top I mean with the hammer I'm not sure about the uh, gauntlet and the the beta actually or the alpha whatever I was playing had had the bow available and I didn't really like the bow I'm not gonna lie to you so I'm not really too sad that it's missing from the demo but uh, there is a bow as a weapon too and it, it's it's all oh, it's okay I guess like my thing is I'm not really like like I like bows but um not in my like platform fighters I guess and this guy's kind of annoying me right now. He's kind of he's kind of a, a mild nuisance. I haven't fought him in a while. I'm, I'm gonna be yeah. I'm gonna be really low health when I leave here. Let me let me let me focus a little bit, guys. <laughs> let, let me focus a little bit. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! He spiked me. Ugh. <laughs> uh. There we go. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, maybe I should have kept the other relic. <laughs> I low health now. Anyways, yeah, they gave us all three of the rows. Uh, um, them in the row. Or I think it's two of them. Because we didn't get the... Um, I think the last one was the spirit thing. Uh, anyways. Um, holy crap, that was crazy. Um, we're going to go lightning strike. I've... Once again, never used lightning strike. And I'm hoping... Um, I can get something good. Greater more damage to enemies, the closer they are to max health. I'll go with this. The launcher. What does it do, actually? I just grabbed it. Your launcher does more damage and inflicts two stacks of wound for six seconds. All right, good. But yeah, this is like how you check all your blessings and stuff. Uh, more essence. So we're going to be able to upgrade our weapons more. If we make it that far, I might actually die. If I die, uh, I'm just going to I'm just gonna restart the run and then cut back to when I'm... Oh my gosh. I'm actually gonna die, I think. I'm gonna restart. I'm just gonna pause pause the recording and then cut back to when I'm uh, basically around the same spot, and then you know uh, show off my show off my build, like what what I have, like item wise. 
at the uh, the time. Um, gosh, you know, all right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think it's because I've been playing a lot of Skull also. I, I'm I'm gonna make excuses, but I've been playing a lot of Skull also, and uh, they're, they're two completely different games. <laughs> um, Radiant Rewind. Yeah, when you get hit, it cuts your your, your mula in half instead. Uh, we're gonna go with. Uh, your final head of your side attack. No. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go with this. Alright, so I'm gonna cut the run, though. Or cut the video right now. And we're gonna cut back to when I'm at, at about the same spot. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, English. I'll be right back, uh, guys. Alright, we're back. Um, so I have, I have done a decent amount of stuff. Uh, I did pretty good so far, I think, with the, the things I'd gotten. As you can see, got half health. Pretty okay. <laughs> got beat up a little bit towards the end there. Um, we have uh, a blessing. We have two blessings. We have safeguard, which gives me reduced, uh, which makes me take reduced damage, uh, twelve percent reduced damage, and then fifteen percent. When I'm at fifteen percent health, the effect doubles, so it'll be twenty four percent. Um, and then flare up, which uh. Is whenever I'm inflicting a, a, a stackable status effect on enemies, there's a chance to apply an additional stack, which means that there's 24 percent chance that every time I apply my burn onto an enemy, they'll get afflicted by uh, an additional stack of burn, essentially. Uh, so there's a 24 percent chance of that happening every time I apply a stack of something. My scorching attack does 50 percent increased damage and inflict burn for four seconds, so that's an easy way for me to stack up multiple. Uh, f uh, burn stacks is by hitting them with my normal attack since it comes out so fast. Well, it doesn't come out that fast, but you know what I mean. And they receive 5 damage per second with burn, by the way, in case you didn't know. Howling Blast, it's an AoE around the character. It's not a projectile. I remove the projectile. And I usually I keep the projectile because it's nice for combos, but I decided Howling Blast might be good, or Howling Bolt might be good to have. Flaming Leap, it's just Fox's up B. <laughs> so yeah, it's not really much to say about it. 9 second cooldown. And then Critical Dash, I just got this one. Uh, your dash deals damage twice and inflicts hounded, hounded, wounded on enemies for three seconds, and the dash deals uh, eight damage per hit. And wounded makes targets take thirty, uh, have a three percent chance per stack to receive critical damage. So yeah, that's my setup right now. I didn't get any health increases, but we did upgrade the scorching attack twice. All right, so we're gonna go back in. Hopefully, the hopefully me commentating isn't gonna make it. Uh, much worse than maybe play worse. That's what I'm trying to say. Significantly worse, at least. It is. <laughs> but. <laughs> wow. Jeez. I'm just a mess right now. <laughs> Uh, in my defense, it is also like, what time is it? 11.30 in, well, p.m. Uh, the day before I go on a trip, so. <laughs> Gonna be gone for the weekend. Uh, traveling for like the first time pretty much ever. Uh, other than that time I went to New York. So yeah, interesting. <laughs> and, and I'm supposed to be up by like six, so <laughs> you know I'll probably I'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna go to sleep right after this, but I'll go to sleep soon. And it's looked to by five stacks of burn will combust. This is gonna be great for our uh, other ability. Uh, this will give us increased max health, and we can heal ourselves right before the boss fight. So used up almost all of our dust. Good. That's a good thing for me. Because I'm only ever going to really use dust towards the end of a battle, basically. Or, or the end of um, a floor. So this is the first boss of the game. She's not all too hard. She does have some annoying moves. Play that combo, really, in particular. I don't like... And this move. Once you break her guard, you can uh, combo her. She becomes combo food, but... You know, same. Uh, she has uh, a, a new sort of thing that she does. Uh, her it being that 
Oh, I jumped instead of dodging through her. Uh, but her sort of thing is that she can break out of uh, combos. Even when she's in her like state like this. She's not... I mean, she's combo food, but she's not actually combo food. And some of her attacks still have super armor. So that wasn't that bad, actually. I think I did pretty okay. I got hit way more times than I wanted to, but that's, that's pretty decent. And we got four essence for when we get here, so that's pretty good. Uh, so basically how this works is I can, I can give myself an enchantment slot, which will add a random enchantment to the weapon, or I can just go for straight up upgrading my attack, my base attack, my neutral attack damage, or my launcher damage. Um, launchers are better to go with i think because the increase is noticeable like normal attack you'll, you'll notice it don't get me wrong but when you land a launcher it's usually to break a shield or to just go for like a combo setup and it would be better to have better combo damage but if you're not landing combos consistently like you can whiff a combo pretty easily if there's multiple enemies on screen it's nice to have that big burst damage from launcher so we're gonna go with an enchantment slot the last hit in your side attack combo deals plus 75% damage and stuns enemies for 25% longer. All right, it's kind of hard to do that in my opinion, but all right, we'll keep it. And then I'll go put the rest into launcher. So we got plus 30% on our launcher uh, attack damage. This is just going to be the way, because I honestly, I used to try the attack, the neutral attack. But I'm giving launcher a chance this time. We're also going to go with the fire uh, this run because I want to see what kind of upgrades I can get for the fire to make it better. The enemies here are um, a lot harder, by the way. And I don't mean that in just like the sense that they do more damage. They do more damage and they're actually uh, a, a lot more complex as far as enemies go in uh, roguelikes, in my opinion. <laughs> deal damage, uh, deal bonus damage at the start of combat rooms, but the effect decreases by 5% every second. Now, I don't like this because, I mean, this is pretty good, actually. Because it's plus 60%. So you have... How much time is that? Like... I don't want to say wrong time. <laughs> time. You have time. Like what? Uh, you know what? We're not going to worry about it. I don't want to do the math right now. My brain's kind of like scarred. <laughs> it's kind of done. Kind of clocking out. Uh, let's go with Scorching Launcher. The reason why I say that... Is because since we're doing fire stacks... And we have a, boat, a buff on... Applying stacks. Uh, it's not fi just fire stacks. It's just all stacks. Now I think about it, right? Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have went with just fire. I could have went with um something else. But I don't know if I'd really want to go with the other thing. Because I don't really like frost effect. I like fires a lot. Uh, this one has a projectile. So, uh, pardon me if I'm, you know, not talking. But this one's actually a nuisance for me. Like a big nuisance. Oh, is the combustion actually saving her? Yeah, the combustion was saving her, I think. Yeah, it's preventing her knockback. Oh my gosh, are you serious? She's stuck at 99. There. Oh my gosh. Annoying. Alright. Uh, 
when you recover health, gain bonus damage until you are hit. Yeah, no, I'm not going to go with that. I'll go with this. Whenever I'm hit, deal damage to nearby enemies in a small radius. That is very useful, um, since I get hit so much. Um, times of the essence, your essence multiplier increases uh, faster and cannot drop below one point or one time. Well, one point one times. Very good. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this one, actually. I feel like this is way more worth it. And I'm gonna go fire because I'm really liking the fire. Oh yeah, by the way, ice actually it has my it's my least favorite. Uh, I think I mentioned this. I, I think I did at least. It's my least favorite effect in the game, but it has my favorite uh, uh, bolt ability. The bolt ability that it has just, in my opinion, is just oh, it's nutty. It bounces off of walls. It's like a grenade. Um, and it's so good for comboing. It's just insanely good for comboing. You would not believe how good it is. An extra inner jump spread fire when it kills an enemy. I'm thinking... Oh, this would have been great. I should have got the, for the version that was stronger. I'm going to go with this. And the reason why... It's because I said so. I'm kind of focused because, yeah, these guys that shoot the little uh, exploding balls are kind of my, like, arch nemesis. I've died way too many times to them. <laughs> Alright, Relic. What did we get? When you are hit, gain dust equal to 30% of the damage taken. And it gives me... Let me read that. That's not what I wanted to do. It gives me increased bolt damage by... 23% and increased launcher damage by 21%. That's actually insanely good. That's insanely good. Okay. Um, we're going to go with this one, actually. Because we need some more... We need to be a little bit tankier, I think. Ouch. Yeah, you see what I'm saying though about these guys being like my arch nemesis? They do so much damage and and they hop around like pretty much freely. So I'm gonna try and if I can. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I'll try if I can prioritizing him. The big guy. Alright, all healing sources are more effective. Yes, gain 10% max health. Yes, thank you, please. I need that. Alright, can we get healing? We can go for we can go for this. Which will lead to the relic. Which is which is fine. Like I'm gonna lose out on the two limit no. We're gonna go for these. Cause uh, either way I was gonna have to fight. And increasing my my, my maximum health would be helpful and all, but I feel like increasing my uh, damage potential would be very good, too. And it doesn't always have to be a damage uh, increase, either. I can choose, and sometimes they will... Okay! I got sniped. <laughs> sometimes they will give you uh, upgrades for your other stuff. Uh, but, yeah. Alright, well, I, I mean, I got sniped, like I said. <laughs> I should have went upwards or diagonally up instead of rushing straight at him with an attack that was so slow uh, and easy to read, essentially. Like, easy to see uh, what was going to happen. Like, I already knew what was going to happen, essentially. Brushing in like that, I was just praying he wouldn't. <laughs> but, I, I mean, I, I, I got the short end. I got the short end, you know? Uh, but, yeah. That's going to be it for today's video. It's already, like, a 25-minute video, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna edit it. Probably not gonna. Not, I don't think I am. At least I'm not gonna, probably not gonna trim it down or cut it or anything like that. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys did, please leave a like down below uh, and uh, comment whatever. I don't know. I uh, did I say that? Subscribe.
subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to be making more content, you know, just doing what I want, though. So, yeah, check it out. Subscribe. S subscribe, bro. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I paused the game early because I was going to stop the recording. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.